Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle for the win. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft survival series. I decided that we would start off the episode by looking out over my big land here. But welcome back to another episode. In the last episode, what we did was we did a whole big fence area around our house. As well as in our cow farm and did our sheep farm down there as well. Now, one thing that I want to start off the video with is I want to want you guys to let me know down below in the comments. I know that there's a very, very small amount of you out there, but I want you guys to let me know. Do you like this texture pack that you see right here or do you like the original one or the default? For some reason, I've been like on the fence about which one I want to do the past couple days for whatever reason. I mean, I don't know. I th it's up to you guys what you guys like, what you guys prefer. Uh, I think I'll probably just do this episode. I don't know. Either I'll do the this episode in the original texture pack or I'll do it in a different one. But I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you guys think of this texture pack as well or if you prefer the other one. Again, I'll do another switch very, very quickly. Boom. Boom. Done. Or with the default one that you just saw, or this one. Again, it's up to you guys. It is up to you guys, but as I said, I'm going to do this episode with the default one on for this video. So, now that we have basically that kind of weird thing out of the way, let me just make sure everything's all good. Yep, mic's on, desktop audio is good, and my, I'm recording. Perfect. All right, so now that we have all that out of the way, let's go ahead and... Take a look at what I did in between episodes. So let me go ahead and put my put my beautiful helmet back on. So what I did between episodes, number one, I put a nice painting there. As well as made myself a bigger painting over here. That's kind of a creepy one. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't have that right where I'm sleeping. Uh, okay, guy burning his hand. Uh, I have no idea what that is, but we'll leave that one. That one looks a little bit, a little bit friendlier. A little bit friendlier of a, of a painting uh, what else did i do oh yeah i did a m put a million torches everywhere i mean look i mean it's just insane there's like a million a million torches i use like almost three stacks of torches over in this area but i think it is completely mob proof i think i i can't tell you for sure if it's completely mob proof but i think it is so far but of course look at our beautiful Habitat that we made last episode. I absolutely love it and they do eat the grass. I think These grass blocks here So yeah, that's a thing, but I really like how this tree turned out I mean, I didn't make this custom or anything, but it kind of grew that way. It looks really really nice. Anyways Very very cool. Nobody escape and then of course we made the Cow farm over here in the last episode as well. Now this tree. This isn't a custom tree either. Like, this tree just grew this way. Isn't that weird? Isn't that really weird how it grew that way? I don't know. The most random things ever. But the only thing, the only place I found mobs was actually that wall there. But other than that, this is pretty much mob proof now, which is fantastic news. So, anyways, of course, this is my, my nice little cow farm here. They're, they look pretty happy. Can you eat? Can you eat cows? Actually, let me... I think I might have fed them at the end of last episode, so they may not be able to breed again, but... Oh, no, they are. Wow. Okay. And, yeah. Unfortunately, another cow was left out. There's a lot of cows that are being left out. We also found ourselves our first Ender Pearl as well. Of course, we're going to need that when we go to fight the Ender Dragon for the first time. And I think... Is that it that I did between episodes? Oh, let me go show you this as well. But as you guys know, today in this episode, I know we've kind of done a lot of just random running around and stuff, but in this episode, what we're going to do is we are going to build ourselves our chicken farm. Now, the chicken coop idea, I did look at I did look at YouTube to see if there was any ideas and stuff like that, but I'm actually just going to do one straight from, from, from the heart. I'm going to do one straight from the heart. Now, as you can see, now this room looks a lot different, but I actually really like the polished diorite and andesite in this room. I think it looks really... Really nice, actually. I think it looks pretty good. Now, I'm trying to think of what I want to do over here. I think I want to do some, some like, I want to put a couple chests here that are, like, a, you know, a, um, you know, an old tools or 
tools that I'm not going to be using type of area, I think, because, I mean, it's just kind of an empty place right here, and I think I want to put an armor stand there as well. But anyways, that's something that we can focus on later. But, as you can see, boom. I got all this wood last episode, so we can build this chicken coop. I also got some rails and some iron bars, which I think you guys can pretty much think about what I'm going to be doing with this. Ooh, storm. Is it raining? Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, wow, that nighttime came quick. But anyways, so that's what we're going to be doing this episode. We're going to build ourselves our chicken coop. And I think, I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can do. I'm kind of thinking not really. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what else, where this episode takes us. I think if we have time, I think we may go down and go down into that mine and show you guys the start exploring the um, the little area that I found the mine shaft there we go mine shaft that I found but if if I don't feel like doing that I may just do a tree start a tree farm in this episode as well because we I want a tree farm kind of on this this whole back fence area I want to be a tree farm because as I said, what is, an, what is a constant resource? And I'm thinking what would be kind of cool would be to get spruce wood, oak wood, dark oak wood, trees, all that kind of stuff. Get like every single tree and kind of have it split off by level. But of course, that would be a big, that would be a lot of exploring because of course, we'd have to go and find a whole bunch of different biomes. So, you know, it could be, that might be something I save for next episode because that would obviously take some preparation. But for the final episode of the week, I think we'll do our chicken coop first. And I think I wanted to do it right down here or maybe right here. Yeah, I think this looks like the best place to do it. I don't have any dirt on me at the moment. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get this chicken coop going. Uh, but first, we need to grab ourselves our resources that will allow us to actually do that. Uh, we're, but let me let me go feed my sheep as well really quickly and I apologize that there's always that keyboard clicking in the background of my Minecraft videos I've literally tried everything and it just never goes away unfortunately I wish I could figure out how to do it but it just doesn't want to go away for whatever reason but it, 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 it is what it is I'm not really complaining too much about it but all right there does everybody have a mate I think everybody has a mate beautiful all right now unfortunately as you guys know we lost ourselves a beaut of a sheep in the last episode but, uh, not, not, not anything we could have done, unfortunately, to save him. Because the tree grew into him. But anyways. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab all the resources that we need. Um, really quickly. I'm going to build some fences. Because, I mean, we should grab some dirt first and kind of lay out the land of how we're, how big the chicken farm is going to be. But, of course, you know, the reason behind all these farms is, yes, I wanted to do kind of a zoo within our, within our area. But I also, the point is that by having... A chicken farm as well as a cow farm number one we have easy access to a lot of steak of course and leather which will make books which will lead us to getting ourselves a enchantment room and then of course chickens will give us feathers which will give us the ability to get arrows as well so that's basically the point of that so what I want to do now is fences how many fences do I have I only have 15 fences so we're definitely gonna need more fences I'm gonna need some dirt as well. I'm gonna grab myself a, a shovel. Actually, I have a, a shovel right here. Actually, I don't think I'll need a shovel. Yeah, I don't, well, we might need a shovel. <clears throat> Actually, we probably will most definitely need a shovel. But uh, I'm also going to so grab myself a shovel. Let's go straight grab myself some dirt here. Boom. And I'm gonna grab myself a skate. Grab myself a rail, grab myself iron bars as well. Hmm. Stairs, 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 stairs. Now, I have not done this. Of course, I'll speed up the building process for you guys, but I have not done this. You know, I, have, I, I didn't, I never did a test build with this, so this is basically going to be kind of a, kind of a, a guess about how this is going to look. I think it should look pretty good. Uh, we'll, have to, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see where this place is going. So let's go ahead and get ourselves. Some this should be enough, and then we'll do that, that as well, and bing bada boom, we have plenty of fences, there we go, don't want to waste any more wood than we need to, but yeah, the, the tree farm idea is going to be 
a very good idea because then with some of the builds we can do, like there's obviously I want to do some, you know, some cool builds like, you know, building myself a, building myself a library, where my enchantment room will be, building myself a, there's just a ton of ideas in my head, you guys are so anyways, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing going, and I think I'll speed it up, not quite yet, but in a little bit, I think, so what I'm going to do from basically now on is I'll speed things up in the video, but I will come back like a little bit at a time so that you can see basically where we're going, and then I'll go back into a speed up. So I really wish that I could do a time lapse where I'm like showing you guys from from like the air, but I don't have a dual monitor setup as I mentioned previously, so I can't do that right now. But I will definitely try and get on that at some point in the future, but for right now, while we're a tiny, tiny, tiny little Minecraft channel, I will just do speed ups for you guys. So anyways, hopefully you guys go to enjoy the little speed up while we kind of get the basis of our little chicken coop going. And I'll see you guys very, very shortly. I'll say I lost my mind, lost my mind I keep talking about you all the time, all the time I can't help but treat you like you're mine, like you're mine Yeah, my friends all say I lost my mind, lost my mind I keep talking about you I'm so mad, I know, yeah Cause you're driving me insane Don't you say I never told ya Loving you is such a waste Such a waste of my time Such a waste of my life Thanks for breaking my heart And those feelings that 
that we both have when I leaned in and you pulled back and you said that I can't have your love. My friends all say I lost my mind, lost my mind. Alright, so there we go, guys. That is the chicken coop. I think it looks really, really nice. It's very basic. It's a very simple design. Actually, I didn't, I realized I deleted a block and didn't put it back. But I, I think it looks pretty good. Now, the thing is, I don't think the chickens can actually walk up those rails when they're not connected to a block. I don't think anyway. And I thought it just looked way too weird with, you know, having, you know, the rails be so far out. But I think, I think it looks pretty good. You guys will have to let me know what you think of it. But basically now the chickens can kind of walk up here. And I'm pretty sure, let me go ahead and replace that block that I thought was wrong. Whoops. I'm pretty sure, oh crap, I messed up again. I'm pretty sure that chickens are only one block tall. So I think they should be able to get in here still. But we'll have to see when we actually get the chickens in here. Now, of course, they can't go through here. But basically, the point of the rails was essentially on like real life chicken coops. Basically, what happens is they have kind of a ramp for the chickens to go on. And because those ramps are kind of hard to do within Minecraft, I mean, the rails are perfect for that. But yeah, the only unfortunate part is, is that can I grab that torch? Give me it. Give me the torch. No, I guess it doesn't want me to have the torch. So basically, I think in like real life, or I know for a fact in real life, they have like little ramps for their little chicken coop areas. And so this is not going to be an egg farm or anything like that. I don't really see the point in having an egg farm. This is just, this is just something cool to add to the chicken farm. But now basically the chickens can walk up here and then they can just kind of chill in here. And I think, as I said, I think they can only be, I think they're only one block tall. So I think that should be tall enough for them. But yeah, the rails basically just add kind of an aesthetic on the sides. Um, but of course they won't be actually be able to walk up and in there unless there is this little thing here. I don't think anyway, maybe they'll be able to fly in, but I don't think they will because if you walk up here, you can't really jump in. I mean, you may be able to jump in. I don't know. But anyways, I think I really, really like the design. It's very simple, very not complex at all. Of course, we'll put a little bit of a water area here, make it, make it a little bit more friendly, but we'll do that like not with sped up or anything. But yeah, I like it. It looks pretty nice. The roof. Yeah, I think the roof looks really good too. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Definitely, definitely, definitely like it. So, and we actually, funnily enough, have a very convenient water source right next to us. So, where should I put their little water area? I think I'll put it right here. Boom. Um, should I just leave it a four square? Yeah, we'll just leave it a four square. I was going to say, maybe I could make it a little cool design, but I think it looks fine the way it is. So, let me grab this water. And then, well, we need to go grab some chickens after this. So, I think this should work pretty good. If it doesn't then well then it's just an aesthetic it looks it looks nice it's 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 a nicer chicken coop basically if it doesn't work out okay i guess it doesn't want to get flat come on i know you want to go flat i know you want to go flat but yeah I, it looks really really nice but we just excuse me we just need to find some chickens now to add to it and it'll look very very good and of course like usual now it's going the other way what the what the heck? Is it too small of a of a block size to go flat? It shouldn't be. Yeah, I was gonna say, there we go. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, now do I have my shears on my inventory still? I do not. But I do have seeds on my inventory. So why don't we go get chickens first and then we can kind of do any the any of the decorating that we want to do. But I think that should be safe. I think that should be chicken proof. Or a chicken escaping proof. I uh, should be. If it's not, then I will fix it. But I like it. I like it a lot. I think it looks really, really nice. Again, I'll put, I may put a tree in there, but I, I don't know if I'll put a tree in there for sure. Or not yet. We'll just have to see. All right. Chicken. Hello, chicken. We need a chicken now. I have some delicious seeds. Unlimited seeds. How about you? Would you like some unlimited seeds? Yes, you would. I know you would like some unlimited seeds. Because you love seeds. You are going to have a, a fantastic home, even though... Never mind. I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to mention it right now. I want you to be completely surprised. Now, I, I'm pretty sure there's more chicken going on. Come on. Thank you, Mr. Chicken. I appreciate it. Here we go. Follow me. 
takes a little bit of time to have the chickens follow you, but it'll look good. And and my wheat is growing like insanely fast. Plus, also by having a chicken farm, we'll be able to lower the rate on my on my seeds because we're gonna end up with like a full chest of sixty four seeds. So having a chicken farm will let us. No, come on. Use your chicken coop. I want to. Do you like your chicken coop? Do you like your chicken coop? Please tell me you like it. I worked hard on it. Not feeling it yet? Are you sure? What if I... What if I planted some seeds in there? Would you like it then? No? Oh, oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll find them in it one day. Maybe we'll find them. In, maybe we'll find the chickens in there. But as I said, if they don't go in there, which I don't know if they will or not, because there's not dirt in there, or I'm sure they will. You can find chickens running into your house at times. So, I mean, either way, if they don't go in it, fine. If they do, great. It doesn't really matter to me too much because essentially, it's just there for an aesthetic. It's there to look cool. All right, chicken. I think there was a chicken actually in my area the other day, but I'm not sure. Yeah, there was. In the corner, in a weird spot. Mr. Chicken. I have a Mrs. Chicken waiting for you. Uh, crap, I don't have any food. We are on the food struggle bus at the moment. We have not had... Ooh, I really like this horse. I may have to tame that horse. Come on, Mr. Chicken. Or, yeah, Mr. Mr. Chicken. I have a Mrs. Chicken waiting for you. So this is perfect. I mean, the, these are very basic builds. Like, you won't see me, you know, Hermitcraft builds. Like, like I've been watching that series, which is kind of the inspiration behind this series a little bit. And I'm just, like, blown away about how amazing they are at building. It just blows me away. I mean, some of the designs are taken from other people who are great builders, but a lot of the, but a lot of the designs as well are straight from their brains. I mean, this, this design was straight from my brain, but... It's definitely not anywhere as amazing as some of those other other chicken coops that you see, but I'm not here to like make it anything crazy. I mean, it's pretty pretty simple. I mean, I'm basically going off a picture that I had in my head, and we have ourselves an official chicken farm now. Now the only thing that we need to do, of course, is make this thing look spiffy. With you know, I'm I don't think I'll plant a tree in there. I mean, I like having the trees, but I think. I think there's just not enough room for a tree. I mean, I guess I could place a sapling. Yeah, I'll, I'll place a sapling in this corner over here because I the putting them in the corner gives them basically smaller trees. If you place them like in the middle of a lot of room, then they can become very, very huge. But if you place them like right in the corner, then they become smaller trees, which is kind of the which is basically kind of the goal. All right. Uh, da, 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 da gonna grab this and I'm gonna go downstairs and grab myself a sapling now I actually have a dirt a grass block which I mean is kind of rare in survival but I don't know what I'll use that for why are there seeds in here no 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 wrong chest there we go and there's myself an oak sapling boom and we'll go ahead and place that in there I have 30 of them cool but yeah so in between episodes because this is definitely gonna take up this entire episode for sure I will go ahead and get a whole bunch of different tree saplings and we'll do the tree farm next episode as well yeah 36 minutes but with the speed up yeah it's it'll still be a, a plenty long episode still be a plenty long episode because the, the speed up really only slows things down by a minute or two max yay we have our first chicken in the chicken coop Woohoo! do you like it do you like it i hope so i really hope you like it Took me a whopping 10 minutes to make. Yay, another one. And the baby went in as well. Woohoo. It works. It works. So beautiful. This is the happiest day of my life. Okay. Now, how should we decorate our... How should we decorate our area? First of all, off, we, need, we need some grass. That's definitely the big thing. We need some grass. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and place that in there now. Because <clears throat> there's really no reason to not do that. 
boom, 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 boom. Beautiful. And we'll go grab some flowers here in a little bit. Yay, I'm so happy that they're they're going inside it. So yeah, that that is great. I'm glad I'm glad that I changed that because it does appear that they can't actually walk up walk up the rails, which makes sense because I can't even do that. So that makes sense. So I'm glad that I made that little made the entrance that way, but the rails of course will be the will be a cool aesthetic for the for the little chicken farm area, which is cool. So I'm very, very happy that that worked out and that they're going inside it. I was afraid that they weren't going to go in it, which would be kind of sad, but th they went in it, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. And in the morning, pardon me, we will go ahead and grab some flowers. <clears throat> and then we will, actually, would trap doors look kind of nice on there? I think they might look pretty nice. But I won't add those right now. Alright, can my cows breed? Actually, I don't want to have wheat so that they escape. Yes, they can. There's always one guy left out. I'm sorry, cow. This tree's not growing. For some reason. I mean, they already have a tree in here, so I guess they don't really need another one, but... Let's see if I can make that tree grow really quick. Just just a little bit of a... No? Oh my gosh, I kept my weed out. I almost They almost escaped. Alright, let, let me see if I can speed up the, the growing process of those trees. Because the other tree I placed in the sheep farm was not was right by the fence so I will, maybe maybe I just need to tweak it a little bit but I need to make more bread of course actually wait a minute what am I talking about I have meat did I put it in the furnace or did I uh, no I did not put it in the furnace I have meat I have raw meat right over here that I just have not put in the furnace yet now I think that should be in here yeah it is eight pieces of meat that's like a lot um, I do have plenty of wheat though to to make bread but if I don't need to make bread, I won't. All right, where are my bones? Here are my bones. Perfect. I'm gonna get, make, make myself a little bit of bone meal. 15, that should be plenty. And I'll place that in there, back in there as well. And I'll grab this lilac bush, I'll grab this poppy, and I will grab these dandelions just to get rid of them and kind of place them in my inventory. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> You may actually, that may actually be enough flowers, but I kind of like mixing it up a little bit. But I will place some trapdoors on there in between episodes on my little chicken coop. And I'll show you guys that change in the next episode, but, because I forgot to build them. And I forgot to put that, cook the meat in my inventory. Great. Um, all right. I was going to test it out. Let's see. Yeah, I guess that's too small of an area for the tree to grow. Um, so I'll move it I'll move it out one level there. and now that should hopefully grow pretty quick let's see boom 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 there we go all right well it's not exactly where I want it to be but I think that's fine let's go ahead and place the flowers down boom yeah we're definitely gonna need more flowers but who would have thought a man, a man playing with flowers in Minecraft, like it, like it, like, it, like who really cares in all honesty, like, who really honestly cares? Okay. Look at all the babies. Hello, babies. Let's grab this. And I'll place it out here. And don't get out of the way, cow. And I want you to be a result of of what happened to those poor sheep. That poor one to that poor sheep. There we go. Boom. All right. Nice. Now that is officially done. Yeah, looks really nice. Okay. Out the way. You cannot escape. You have you have a great you have a great piece of land. I would love to live there. Boom. It's a beautiful habitat. Now this is gonna look great. Just need to grab some more flowers. But man, I keep. Uh, I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna eat the raw meat unless it's really bad. 
Yeah, it's pretty bad, but oh well. It doesn't matter. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Man, I'm having so much fun with this series. We haven't done a lot of cave exploring. We're really... I mean, as I said, we're not really in a rush to get to the Ender Dragon by any means. I mean, we can take as long as we want. I mean... Obviously, at some point, we're going to need... I mean, we're, we, as I said, we don't need to hurry at all to the Ender Dragon, but... You know, that is something that is on my mind, and I will get there relatively quickly. I mean, as I said, there's, there's, no, there's no rush, but... I mean, sort of, by having the... By building, you know, the chicken farm and the cow farm, we're, we're not speeding up the process per se, but we are allowing the process to be easier because we're going to have a lot of, we're going to be able to get a lot of arrows, a lot of, I mean, a lot of, a lot of arrows, and then of course the cows will lead us to be able to have an enchantment table room, and overall it'll be pretty cool, but... <laughs> I really I like those blue flowers so much that I'm actually gonna get rid of the the rose bush. Ah, I won't get rid of it. I'll keep it on my inventory, but I just won't use it in the in the chicken farm because I love I like these blue flowers so much. They just look really really nice in there. But yeah, I mean as I said, when we, when we start doing bills that require dyes, you bet your butt. That we're going to be coming over here to get all the dye in the world. But anyways, let's go ahead and head over. And we'll go ahead and end the episode there. But I had a lot of fun this episode building ourselves the little chicken farm area. I should probably... I'm trying to think. Should I... I mean, there's really no way to make it a small thing. Unless... Actually, no, I have an idea. But I'll, I'll do that off camera. I'll do that off camera for sure. So basically what I'm thinking in my head, what, what, what that I kind of, that I was saying is, ooh, that was a nice little jump. What I was think, what I was saying is that in my head is that what I'm going to do is I'm going to build them a little like food area. Cause of course in real life, the cows, they don't really need to have, you know I mean? They just kind of eat the grass. Same with the, same with the sheep. But the chickens don't eat grass. Chickens don't eat grass. So, basically, what I'll do is, I, I in, in between episodes, what I'll do is I will make them a little food area. Is that all the flowers I had? Yes, it is. Oh, wait. I forgot about these blue ones. Uh, we don't have to place all of them. It might be a little overkill if we do, but, you know, I don't really need a place to give them a food area. I think, I mean, they don't really eat anything, so I don't really need to do that. Now, I had some eggs. No! Bad chicken. You don't want to escape. I guarantee it. Because, guess what? <gasps> yes, that's right. That's right. You like you like the seeds. You like them so much. Here, come over here. I don't trust you guys anymore. I don't trust you little chickens anymore. And I almost let them out again. <laughs> I should definitely not get out of the go leave the area with the with the material that requires them to eat in in the uh, in my hands when I leave the area. Let me go ahead and get this meat cooking because I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that. And all right, let me think here. What was I going to do as well? Nothing. I think that was what I came up here to do. So anyways, now we'll go ahead and end the episode. We've been recording for a long time. I just kind of lose track of time when I do this, when I play this game. I mean, all of a sudden I realize, okay, why do you have to be so close to the exit? All right, there we go. I, I just like lose track of time like all of a sudden it's like oh I just started recording then I look at how long I've been recording for 40 minutes I'm like wow specifically this episode but anyway guys that is going to do it for another episode as you can see here we got ourselves a beautiful chicken coop as well as a beautiful chicken habitat and in the next episode off camera I will get a ton of saplings and we'll build our tree farm 
And if that takes all episode, then that'll take all episode. But if it doesn't, then we will finally go down into the into the little mine shaft that I found because number one, it's on diamond level, so we may find a lot of diamonds. Number two, it gives us the chance. Yes, they're going in it. Beautiful. Boom. Thumbnail picture right there. It'll um, allow us to get diamonds, maybe even let us find melon seeds, which would be even cooler, and then maybe find ourselves a carrot farm so we can build ourselves a cow habitat at some point as well but anyways we're not gonna do a ton around the house as time goes on here well i mean we will we're obviously gonna do a lot around the house but i want to take a break from doing stuff around the house so hopefully next episode that tree farm will not take us very long which i really don't think it will take us that long i think it'll take us not very much time at all and then we can go ahead and go down into that mine and explore that mine shop and guys, i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun today building the chicken coop as well as finishing the chicken habitat it looks so nice i absolutely have love started to fall in love with this world it's definitely my not my most advanced world ever but it's definitely the most fun i've had in the world but anyway guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did a like rating is always appreciated make sure you check out the playlist down below which will have all of my other previous episodes as well as at the end of the video which will have my previous episode and the description which will also have in the previous episode so two places to find my previous episode and i'll see you guys all on another minecraft video very soon <laughs>